Agnum's Crystal Rye IPA. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. There is no sun, there is no yard arm, but there is a can of this stuff from the Adnams Brewery. This is their Crystal Rye IPA, and it's part of their Jack brand, which I'm not quite sure what they're trying to achieve with that. I don't know whether it's their cheaper version of their beers, or it's just their attempt at craft brewing um they're not bad actually this jack brand that the adnams brewery do they've done a lager a hopped lager which was really nice and i think they've done a pale ale as well that i've reviewed i've reviewed two of them on the channel i'm sure i have but they were really nice i really enjoyed them and adnams are a good brewery um you may have uh, conceptions about them you know being one of these old school traditional british type brewers but they do everything they do some really good traditional wells they do um the broadside which is a really lovely ruby ale really nice one and they do various seasonal beers as well and of course they're based up in um they're based up in uh, southwold which is in suffolk and their um their brewery is quite revolutionary and it's very um eco-friendly they use a lot of um, solar power and uh, they've got a roof garden apparently it's, it's one of the well it's the biggest in europe that is on a brewery so yeah it's uh and it's still independently owned as well which is brilliant so adnams have got a lot going for them great british brewer try and support them let's stop gassing and let's see what this is all about okay so it is a crystal right ipa I'll get into what the crystal rye means in a minute. Um, it's 5%, it's a 330 ml can. Uh, on the side of the can, it says uh, Jack brand crystal rye IPA. Um, what's in the can, crystal rye IPA, yeah. Uh, made with bags of US hops. Doesn't say which hops, which is slightly annoying, but no, not, not to worry. Uh, crystal rye malt. If you're wondering what that is, it is a type of malt that has been, um, it's, it's rye basically, which um, I don't know whether I've explained what um, crystal malt is, but for those that haven't seen the other videos, I'll quickly go through it. Uh, uh, crystal malt is a uh, malt that's been put into the kiln just to allow uh, the shoots um, to sprout slightly. What that does is that creates a reaction within the malt to produce sugar to feed these um, shoots. Um, the heat, will crystallize the sugar before the shoots can feed on it and then it's taken out. So you're left with this nice sort of um, sweet flavoring from it. And there are a lot of flavors that come from crystal malt. You get um, dark fruit, licorice, and um, big <coughs> sweet type flavors. It's really nice. You, you recognize them. They use it quite a lot. They use it in porters. They use it in stouts. They use it in um, traditional ruby, British ruby ales and strong ales. And they, they use it in IPAs too. And of course, this is what they've done here. Really nice. And it's got a unique flavor to it as well. Uh, this also contains American hops. As I say, it doesn't tell you which ones, um, which is a shame, but that's fine. Uh, it's Pine and subtle toffee flavours as well. Uh, robust, smooth and full-bodied. It would be. Oh, it has, I tell a lie. I take it all back, Adnams. It does say what the hops are. They are Columbus, Sentinel, Cascade, Amarillo and Citra. All American hops, all quite commonly used hops, all very nice hops, very fruity, very grapefruity. And of course, Citra is, you know, the king of the American hops, if you like. Really nice. They've, uh, you know, you get a lot of flavours from Citra. And I'm hoping they're going to be in here. Uh, the IBU is 60, so it's you know it's fairly high in the uh, in the bittering units. 
Let's shut up guessing and let's get this open and see what it's all about. Right, I don't know whether that camera angle is optimal, but it'll have to do for now. Let's see what we're getting out of the can on the nose. So, yeah, uh, subdued fruit, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. And I can get the licorice in there. I'm getting a touch of licorice on that. And some tropical fruit, like grapefruit and mango. And that's about it, it's, it's quite subtle. So let's get it into the glass, see what's going on. Now, as I said, um, uh, the, the the crystal rye, um, it's got its own unique characteristics. And this is one of them. It's It gives it a dark color. All right, now that is the color. That's the color I would be expecting. You see that color in a lot of American West Coast IPAs. And I'm assuming they're using the um, uh, the crystal rye or some sort of crystal malt in that. Um, the flavours again, as I say, are you know licorice. You get fruit, etc., etc. But you do get a burnt sugar type of flavour. Now this can be confusing because some burnt sugar isn't meant to be there. That's just bit, that's you find that in a lot of these cheap supermarket IPAs where it's just been left too long and it's burnt and it's burnt the sugar and you get that burnt flavor and it's like an astringent flavor and it's fucking horrible. This I'm assuming hasn't got that. All right, this is, this smells really nice actually. I can get, I can get the fruity flavors from the hops and from the malt as well. And there is a touch of licorice in there too. Not a lot, but it is there. Let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Mm. And that's quite nice. It doesn't say what style of IPA it is, but I'm assuming it's some sort of American IPA. I I'd be sort of classing this as a West Coast. <clears throat> it's got the American hops in it and it's got that that sort of flavour that you get from the West Coast, not the not the super juicy from the East Coast. Um, it, it's more in keeping with the West Coast, although it's, it doesn't say that that's what it is. But it's really nice. It's very full bodied. And that first mouthful that went down, it's very warming indeed. Now it's only 5%, but it went down really nice. You could feel it going all the way down. It's got a lovely rich body to it. And there's a lot of fruit in there. Um, you've got the tropical fruit of like grapefruit, mango, um, sweet, like peach maybe. Um, that type of flavor I'm getting that sort of on the on the sort of top but there's a big malt base on that as well and as I said before with the with the slightly burnt sugar that's subtle it's giving it a nice sort of bitterness that's mixing in with the hops as well the mouthfeel and body on this is really nice as well and that's coming from that that malt too and all in all it's nice the hops aren't too in your face they they're a bit toned down the malt is coming through there i'm getting a little bit of um sort of power malt bread biscuit malt on that but i'm also getting the sort of licorice type flavors the dark fruity type flavors and the sort of slightly slightly roasted sugar from the crystal malt that comes through on that as well. It's really good. Yeah, really nice. This is chilled at the moment. Um, I didn't want to make it too cold because I wanted to get all them flavors. 
because um, I do like West Coast IPAs, but there are a lot of bad ones out there, and a lot of supermarkets do West Coast uh, under their own contract brewers, usually Marston's, and they taste like absolute shit. This is definitely a good one, and I like it. And I've not, to be honest, I've not had a bad one from that Adnams uh, Jack brand brew. It's really, the Adnams Jack brand. I've not had a bad one from that Adnams Jack brand. All the ones I've tried so far, the hot lager and the pale ale have been really nice. And this is gonna go down as a very nice one as well. Mm. Yeah, really good, really nice. So what's the verdict? Yeah, I had high hopes for this and I wasn't disappointed. Agnams again have come up with another winner. Uh, the choice of rye makes this, the choice of the crystal rye makes this, I should say. Um, you know, you could have used any old malt with that and it would have been a run of the mill sort of attempt at a West Coast. That, with the addition of the crystal rye malt in there, it's given it a lot, of, a lot more depth in the flavour. Yeah, you're getting the, the, the American hops, and there are quite, a, you know, a fair few. I wouldn't say quite a lot. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different hops in there. You've got to be careful when you're mixing them hops. You know, you can sort of cancel each other out, or you can create flavours that you don't really want to create. They've got that balance just right on that. But the rye in this, or the, the crystal rye. And the other, combined with the other malts, give this a lovely body and a really nice aftertaste. And I really like that. And I am going to give that an eight out of ten because, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting even more of that licorice now in there. It smells really good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give that an eight out of ten, and I'm definitely going to recommend it. Is there better West Coasts out there? Yeah, I think there are, but this was really cheap. I'll tell you exactly how much it was. I got it from Beers of Europe. I ordered, I got a hefty lump. There was a, you know, a, quite a big box that I've got in there. And I've just got, oh yeah, Adnams, Crystal Rye, blah, blah, blah. And it, do, it doesn't say the price. What was the point in me keeping this? I think it was, it was under two pounds, I know that. It was definitely under two quid. So you can't go wrong with that, that's really nice. So yeah. Very nice, and another winner from Adams. And remember, beer is working class champagne.